Previously on Dream Team. It's okay, bro. We'll sort this out. I've had enough. I don't even want this stupid club anymore. I'm getting out of here. Look! Look, if I'm going blind. It'll be months of testing to determine the exact rate of deterioration, and you're only showing the early signs of Fuchs dystrophy. There's no easy way to say this. Say what? You know that guy Steve? Ryan killed him. Slay bells ring. Slay bells ring. Are you listening? Are you listening? In the lane. In the lane. Snow is glistening. Snow is glistening. Walking in, in a winter wonderland. Invitations to the Christmas party. Hand him out, will you? Why bother? Every party we have ends in disaster. Don't be such a grump. I'll do it. Don't you feel that Christmas magic in the air? Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? What are you going to do then? Are you going to tell the police? This fixture congestion is just absolute madness. I mean, the size of our squad is virtually impossible to cope with. Dad! If we're to sustain our challenge, we've got to keep everyone fit, including you, Ryan. Luke! Have a word. You're right. It's the same issue every year. Tired legs, tired minds. We just need one more big push to get through these next few games. Dad! If we're going to pick up points, we need both you and Ryan firing on all cylinders, leading by example. Dad, will you just talk to me? You can't keep ignoring me like this. I need to know what you're going to do. I don't know. Well, what are you thinking? Tell me what you're thinking. I don't know. Please talk to me, Dad. I can't carry on like this. You, you can't even look at me. Do you hate me that much? Of course I don't hate you. I don't know, Ryan. I don't have the answers. I don't want answers. I just want something. Look. I know... It was an accident. I know you didn't mean to kill him. And of course I'm not going to go to the police. How could I? You're my son. But I'm, I'm just trying to get my head around this. Carry on as normal, all right? I can't carry on as normal. I can't do anything. I can't, you know. The nightmares, is this place, everything. Everything reminds me of what happened. I, I need your help, Dad. I, I don't know what to do. This is my mate, Steve. I can't believe it, man. I'm gonna play for England. I am on fire and you know it. I've got a gambling problem. I need your help, Dad. I don't know what to do. You know that guy, Steve? Brian killed him. This place, everything. Everything reminds me of what happened. Yeah, get me Gerald Hillier in the phone, please. Gerard, Stuart Naismith. Fine, thank you. Um, are you still after a wide midfielder?
thought it was time we discussed our plan for the transfer window. Can we get Christmas over with first? I've got enough on my plate as it is. We need a new keeper for starters. I hope you're joking. We're already staring at the four million shortfall on our next installment to Barcelona. There is no money to transfer players in. What if I told you I could raise the money? You make me very happy, but I don't see how it's possible. A decent keeper costs four, maybe five million. Plus Luke's installment, that's nine altogether. Sounds about the right price for Ryan. You want to sell Ryan? I don't want to. But I have to put the club first. And the truth is, we have plenty of talent in midfield. You're absolutely sure about this? I don't want to get involved in transfer negotiations if this is about a family row you've had. I'm sure. It's good for Hart just it'll be good for him too. He's ready for a new challenge. Okay, great. Let's sell him. Cannot wait to see Al Santa in a little Christmas mini What Pilar! Oh. Imagine that tomorrow. Me, Santa Grotto, her on my lap. <laughs> Looks a bit out of the league, don't you think? <laughs> ah, no. ah, LD must fancy his chances. Hey? Uh, you lads can sort out between yourselves because uh, the fittest bird in Archester has already spoken for, haven't you? <laughs> 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 oh, no, no disrespect, bro. <laughs> Abby, you coming? Oh, I doubt it. It's reminding me of my chance car. Come on, you can do the night out. Let me take you. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, lads, let's hurry up, please. We're going to shift things around a little bit today. Clyde. Yes, yes. You're going wide left. I want you to work on your partnership with Luke. I'm giving you a rest from playing. Do some fitness training with Lee. Playing. Ryan, right. Look, I've had a chance to give it all some more thought. I'm sorry. How I could have ever expected you to carry on here as if nothing happened? Well, things sort themselves out in time, especially with a fresh start. What do you mean? I'm working on a move to Liverpool. Julien's interested. Finish it, move, yeah. Liverpool? Well, you want to get rid of me? No, no, Ryan, not get rid of you. Then what? I thought this is what you wanted, to get it, put it all behind you. No more nightmares. This is a good move for you. It's a good move for you, more like. No, Ryan, it's not like that. Ryan, it's not like that. Ryan! Nadine's not going to be there. He'd love a party like that. Not with that tart hanging around, he wouldn't. <sighs> Give it a rest, Tony. So no one have to fight anymore. Maybe if you put your energy into supporting him instead of hating Donna, you wouldn't have lost him. I've not lost him. Well, you don't know where he is. The same thing, isn't it? No what am I going to tell him when he's got a turn up on Sky Sports? On my own, it's his bleeding claim. You're just going to have to cover for him. And say what? I'm sorry, our Dean's off sick again. They're going to think he's got the bleeding black plague if we keep using that one. Sooner or later, they're going to realise something's up. I care about this club, Richard, and that counts for a lot these days. And though my practical experience in the courtroom is limited, I'm confident I can argue a strong case. No, no, no. You bore the pants off a train spotter with that. I was answering your question. You were sending me to sleep is what you were doing. We've got a live Sky debate day after tomorrow. We need ratings. Dull does not spell ratings. 
Well, thanks a lot, mate. But it's true, and I won't be there to babysit you either. We need something more, something with a kick. We need to fire people's imaginations. All right, son? What's up, man? We need passion. You two going through a rough patch? <laughs> Another three Christmas crackers coming straight your way. And speaking of crackers, what price are Wayne Rooney goal at Goodison Park tomorrow? We'll be there. It's the Mersey Derby tomorrow. And I won't even be there. Oh, yes, you will. Because that's where you'll find Deep. Shake a bit. Wave your arms. Play to the gallery. Tell them how Alison stops you taking Christopher to football matches. That'll win them over. Well, she doesn't. Anyway, I'm not dragging Christopher into this. Well, you've got to tell them something interesting. What about me putting up a disgraced agent and football's best kept secret? Oh. Ryan Naismith's getting sold to Liverpool, you know. What? Yeah, he's not too happy about it, though. They can't do that, he's one of our best players. This is terrific news. Are you mad? The boy's priceless. Who else knows about this? Uh, no one, yeah. It's Stuart, you see. Likes to confide in me. Sports list, please. Dave, Jeff Stein. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright, mate. Listen, I think I've got something I think you like. No, 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 honestly, it's red hot. It's gonna make Matthew Webster seem interesting. <laughs> Three word headline Saving Priceless Ryan. planning on turning my back on you. Not now, not in the future. But I needed to think very carefully about this move to Liverpool. Look, it's not that I want you to leave. Maybe, maybe being so close to me has been part of the problem. Dad. No, look, I knew you'd been having problems. Even before Birmingham. I thought I could help sort things out. Make up for not being there when you were a kid. <laughs> At least I've been able to help you with your football. I want to make one thing very clear, Ryan. I'm not trying to get rid of you. No. You can leave this place with all its memories, all its guilt and regret. And go and play for one of the best teams in the country. And you start again. Stevie Gerrard. To Ryan Naismith. Naismith. Skips past the tackle. Sends it wide to cure. Chips it for Owen. <laughs> Owen, he squares it to Naismith. I forgot to knock. Is it true about Ryan going to Liverpool? They're having talks, but... Pull out of the deal. It's early days, but with the transfer market the way it is at the moment, we could really make the money work for us. Pull out of the deal? There really shouldn't be a problem. Maybe we should get stood up here to talk about it. It's really simple. If Ryan goes, I go. What is this about? Matt, have you got a message for your fans? Hi, Matt. Message Hi. is simple. If I am my chairman, I will never sell Ryan Naismith. Harchester is not a selling club. There's Ryan! Don't worry, we won't let him get away with this. The Supporters Association would like to know if it's true your son will be moving to Liverpool. It's all just speculation, as usual, gentlemen. Thank you. 
What are they doing? They're gonna ruin it. They're gonna screw this up. Calm down. The lines are gonna let a few disgruntled fans get in the way of a nice bit of cash. They haven't even made an offer yet. What if they change their mind? They won't. Don't worry. Come in. I thought you'd want to see this straight away. It's from Liverpool. Thanks, Grace. 9.25 million. Oh, my God. See, son? This is what you're worth, and don't you forget it. Let me call you back on this, huh? All you have to do is accept the offer, and we can arrange talks. Look, if you're worried about that stupid campaign... It's Luke. He's putting his foot down. Oh, please. Luke Davenport does not make decisions for this club. You're right. I do. And I will not risk losing him over this. No. He gives me the service I need. He's not our only player. You've barely even seen Connolly yet. He's much better than you think. I've seen Connolly. I've seen Ryan. Come on. You're in the form of your life. Can make it work. Ryan stays. Nothing changes. You got that. Why are you being like this? Because that's the way it is. Perhaps I'm not being clear. If you refuse to let Ryan go, I'll resign. You can't be serious. Why do you want him out so badly? What's happened? He killed someone. Right. He didn't mean to, but he beat a man to death with his bare hands. He's tearing him apart. And he's tearing me apart now. I'm trying to save him from it. Why can't you understand that, you selfish cow? Stuart, answer me. What are you hiding from me? He's been having problems. Go on. Nightmares. He's uh, barely slept a wink in the last few months. Is this why you didn't play him against Bolton? Look. He took some pills, had a bad reaction. That's the point. He badly needs to get out of here, Pillar. He needs a fresh start. This away, did you? It's great to be back. I want you to come home, son. Five million. <laughs> believe you're buying the drinks tomorrow night. I believe it's a free bar, you muppets. Ah, oh, cheapskate. Liverpool have many good pens. Hey, you ain't wrong, man. Listen, just think. You're going to be putting in crosses for Michael Owen, man. Mm. Is this supposed to be good news in the Hushest United dressing room? Well, no, but he's a mate. Is Let's it? be happy for him. We just want to win something this year, yeah? We'll be all right, man. We will, man. We'll win. Without you. <laughs> uh, mate, looks like it's just me and you now. Do you fancy doing some extra training later? Maybe we could work on a few things. We spend enough time together as it is, don't you think? So then, who fancies coming to see Ryan's new club get a hammer in by Everton, eh? Yeah? 
Why am I still hearing the sounds of transfer gossip? Stuart has threatened to resign if I block the move. And? And he's an excellent manager doing an excellent job. You only like him because he's a puppet. Find a new one. He is not a puppet. He is a good manager and I don't want to lose him. Then you better think of another way to stop this transfer. It's the club Christmas party tomorrow night. Free food, free beer. Just come home for a few days. What? Until the court case is over, you mean? Cannon misses you. Where are you going? To get a pasta. What? No! Well, then, I'm going to take the pasta when you're ready, please. Look. Dean, what? Come on, son, throw us a bone. This is you and me, like the old days. Not anymore. That's no way to talk. It's true. Before we went to Archester, I had a dad I loved. And a girl I wanted to marry. Now what have I got? Nothing. Come on, Dean, it's not that bad. Yes, it is. The only good thing to come out of all this is that I don't have to sit around and listen to you and Donald rip each other to pieces. Listen to me, Dean. No, you listen to me. I'm not going back down there to win that club so you can boss me around every single day of my life. You know where you can stick it, Dad? You didn't get your pasty? Yeah. Karen made us some sarnies. What oh, thanks. Son, I didn't come here to bully you or to play at happy families and pretend everything's better. I came... I, I came... I came because I miss you, Dino, and I don't want you to hate me. I love you, son. And if you feel that the right thing to do is to drop this claim for a 30 million quid club, then I, I respect the decision. You miss out on getting rich. Some things money can't buy. I drop a sadness. Oh, fuck. So I cast for you. I was never gonna drop that claim, you know. I'm not that soft. That's my boy! Come on, Wayne! That's my boy! Yeah! Matt, my son, we've done it. It's in the bag. There's no way any Archester fan will support Boyle now. Hang on, what's that on the front page? Uh, a source inside Archester United has revealed that Ryan Naismith is hooked on antidepressants and is becoming increasingly unstable. Such news is bound to be greeted with concern by Gerard Hulia, rumoured to be in talks for the pair. We're finished. How? Because we're back in the wrong horse, that's why. As soon as people read this, the whole campaign will be worthless. Yeah, shoot, that's bonkers, mate. Fans love Naismith, they adore him. He could stand outside the club naked with a rose up his bum, it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference to them. Paul Gascoigne ring any bells? Clachen picture. The judge is hardly going to believe that we've got the club's interest at heart, is he? Oh, look good on the wall, though. Me and you were good as some park when the rune broke the deadlock. Enough about the picture! We're not going to have a wall to hang on at this rate. Webster is going to eat you alive. On telly! Shane, though. If we own the club, we could have bought him. <laughs> you absolute genius! Hey, excuse me. You fax that through for me, please, love. The number's on the top. Do you, do you think that's enough? Yeah. Why? What do you think? I was thinking more like 25. You reckon? He's dialing. Yeah, just a second, though. It's Bill Cannon out of NFC who'd like to make an offer of 25. 25 million for Wayne Rooney. From the future owner of Harchester United, Mr. Dean Boyle. That's Wayne me. Rooney, here we come. That's why I'm calling you. But yeah, you must have some contacts. What is going on? Who would 
just say this about me? Call you back. I don't know. What if Julio decides he doesn't want me? Oh. All right, calm down, Ryan. Listen. It'll be okay. Huh? I can't be here. I, I've got to go to Liverpool. I swear I will go mad if I have to stay here. An official source, it says. Who the hell do you think would do something like that? I'm looking into it, Stuart. I'm as distressed as you are. Yeah? Well, not half as distressed as my son. Miss Hernandez, I have Jared Hillier for you on line three. Can I call him back in ten minutes? No, we'll take it now. Gerard, how nice to talk to you again. Yes, yes, we have. It's very unfortunate. No. No truth whatsoever. Ryan is a very fit and healthy boy. Yes, of course. We can arrange that straight away. <laughs> okay, it's a pleasure. Goodbye. They want to see him face to face. Ryan needs to go up for a medical this afternoon. Naismith is a five minute wonder. We should sell him whilst we can. A provocative view for a potential owner, uh, one which the fans seem none too uh, pleased with. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go to the call, shall we? Alex, uh, let's kick off the show. You're on Sky Sports. Dean Boyle don't know what he's on about. Naismith's one of Harchester's strongest assets and his homegrown talent. My vote goes to Webster. OK, well, let's see if Alex's uh, views are representative uh, of the voting. And um, it certainly looks that way doesn't it, with a massive 68% of our viewers saying that he should be the new owner. Your response, Dean, to that? Eh. Uh, come on, son. Where I come from, football's a family game. I just have drug users in the squad, well, that's against Everton that I stand for. Oh, come on, he's hardly a drug user. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the kids will say. Yeah, this don't count as drugs. It's OK for him, it's OK for me. <laughs> no. We need to make an example of him. Come on, interrupt him, you Calm dozy down. idiot. Just say no. Show him the t-shirt, lad. He will? Hernandez should have got rid of him a long time ago. She doesn't know what she's doing. Well, it's a scathing attack, isn't it, on, on drug use and Pilar Hernandez by Dean Boyle, Matt. Why are you so keen then to keep the player? Everyone knows that this story is just trash. He's a top player, a top lad. His mental health isn't even in question. He's an England international, for God's sake. <laughs> OK, well, let's, uh, let's get some more thoughts on it from our callers. Uh, Jesse, you're on Sky Sports. Jesse, what do you want to say? Selling Naismith is a disgrace. Well, Tim, we might as well kiss goodbye to Champions League. Matt, you're doing a great job, mate. Brilliant. Hey, young duck. Well, maybe him. Um... Jesse from um, Leeds and Alex from wherever should take a look at this. You let us sell that loony and I promise you, Wayne Rooney. Looney for Rooney. Rooney for Rooney. Looney for Rooney. 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 You what? Okay. Rooney. Calm down. Calm down. What a load of rubbish. You're around the bend, mate. OK, well, the, 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 call is, uh, the calls are flooding in. Um, we've got a call from Harchester now. Uh, Andrew, you're on Sky Sports. What do you want to say? Rooney's a great player, but you're not seriously expecting to sign him. Well, um, today, Mr Kenwright received an official offer and things are progressing well. Neil, you're on Sky Sports. I may be in a small minority, but as far as I'm concerned, there's only one person that should be running this club. That's Donna Connolly. Wow, she's fit and has a great pair of... Yeah, yeah, OK, we'll leave it there. And that's probably where the other 2% is, uh, is coming from, Neil, as well, isn't it? So let's uh, have a quick look at the poll, then, shall we? And uh, it looks like uh, Dean is catching up. He now has just over 40% of the votes. So uh, it looks like the Harchester fans are definitely sold on Wayne Rooney. Plenty to talk about after the break. We'll see you in two minutes. Come on, Matt, you've got to admit it's a shrewd move by Boyle. Everyone's got that warm, tingly feeling about seeing Rooney and Davenport together. I can't stand it. I'm calling Everton. Don't. 
It won't do you any favours. You don't get it, do you? This is a disgrace. I can't have the fans misled like this. It's a pack of lies and I'm going to prove it. I haven't ever really found a place that I call home. I never stick around quite long enough to make it. I apologize but once again I'm not in love. But it's not as if I mind that your heart ain't exactly breaking. It's just a thought, only a thought. But if my life is for rent and I don't learn to buy, well, I've decided. Hiya, Matt. Good to meet you. Thanks, Mr. Kimmel. I know it's short notice. No, no problem. Let's sort this out once and for all, eh? What do you think, John? Yeah, let's do it. Thanks. And I don't learn to buy Well, I've decided nothing more than I get Cause nothing I have is true Come in. So? How did it go? Oh, I don't know. How are you supposed to tell? Did he ask you about the rumours? Yeah, but I reckon I handled it all right. Really? All right. Let's take your mind off it. Let's go and get something to eat. Mm. Oh, you're mine. Mm. I'm live outside Goodison Park where just a few minutes ago Bill Kenwright and Matthew Webster recorded a statement exclusively for Sky Sports News. We've come together to condemn what's nothing more than just another cynical attempt to mislead the fans of our football clubs. That's right. I think uh, at the end of the day if I had 50 million quid to spend I'd want to spend it on Wayne Rooney but Wayne is an Evertonian. He's got blue blood running through his veins. He is going nowhere. Bill Kenwright's just covering his bases, and you can't blame him for it either. I'd do exactly the same thing. But don't worry, it'll all get sorted out. We'll get our man! Hey, can't still be pushing that light, embarrassing. Oh, really? Saving priceless Ryan! Saving priceless Ryan! Do it, my life you're messing with! Oh, you're getting this, well done, son. It's about get time. Off, Jeff! Are you as bad as they are? Oh, come on, we're only trying to help you stay. I don't want to stay. None of you understand. Look, I'm getting pretty fed up with this. In case you hadn't noticed, we're trying to do a job here. Give me that. None of these people know the first thing about running a football club. It's a complete joke. God help us if any of these idiots ever get in charge. Gerard. Yes. Of course. Thanks for being so swift with the decision. Cheers, Gerard. Bye. You passed the medical. They want you. They want you. You're going to Liverpool. Yeah. You're going to Liverpool. You'll never walk alone. Alone. Yes. <laughs> I'm here outside Studs Nightclub in Harchester. Where angry fans are gathered to protest against the departure of England international Ryan Naismith to Liverpool amidst the chaos of the current ownership battle. And they may be holding their Christmas party tonight, but one man who's not feeling too festive is Sam Mullen, the new head of the Harchester United Supporters Association. That's right, and it ain't just the supporters that are getting angry either. Even the manager said it. The people battling to own this club are doing nothing but damage. It makes us sick. As far as we're concerned, they're all muppets. Webster's supposed to be a fan. It's become pretty clear now, he's just trying to manipulate us. He couldn't care less about the club. We'd sooner have Hernandez continue in charge. At least she knows what she's doing. I won't accept this transfer request. 
They haven't got much of a choice. Did you really think spreading a few vicious rumours was going to do the job? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't bother. It's obvious it was you. Why is Ryan so important? What's going on with you? Nothing. Don't lie to me. Just turn down off. It's your job. He's leaving and the fans hate our guts. I told you not to go to Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'll think of something. You're stupid all dressed up like this. And what you don't look stupid. You look beautiful. Let me just a drink. This is a complete waste of time. That's all true, love. How do you reckon that? This is our Dino bar. See, babe, who's laughing now, eh? The fans hate that lot. Mm, you are the only one left with any dignity. You ready, Rogers? Whenever you are. You got his present? So, uh, there. Show on my own. Are you going to get me Christmas snog then, Mum? No, you are not. Get off! Uh, well hidden, baby. But of course. Aye. <laughs> Here, save it for the bedroom! Go on. Hey, can I be in on this? Yeah, sure, bro. No worries, man. Give it to me if you like. What now? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go, man. Fine. Can I have a quick word? Hey, he's a dark horse, isn't he? That nice bit. DJ, DJ, DJ. <laughs> Quiet, everyone, please. Here, come on! Hush, hush! Right. At football clubs, it ain't really that normal to celebrate when one of your best players are leaving. But in the case of this particular boy, I'm sure you'll all agree, we ain't gonna miss him that bad. <laughs> so Ryan, we got you a little something to send you on your way. No, the move is off. If we lost Davenport, we'd be finished. This can't happen. I understand this is a blow to him. You don't have a clue, you don't know what this will do to him. I am CEO here and I am sorry. But there is no way he's going to leave the board. Hey, it's nothing much, man, but it's just to show our appreciation. If you want, you can hang this up in the Liverpool dressing room if you like. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. And that's not all either, bro. Grace. What? Oh, thanks. Curtis, man, what's going on? When you walk through a storm Hold your head up high And don't be afraid of the dark At the end Of a stone There's a golden sky And the sweet silver song Of Go through this and make you regret it, I swear How do you propose to do that, huh? 
Maybe I'll tell a few people how he torched Fletcher's contract. Will you also tell them how you stood by and watched? And Bruce's injury. You were complicit in all of this. A willing partner. Not anymore. I resign. Naismith leaving is a tragedy for this club, and you're singing. You see my dad? What is it? What's wrong? There have been a lot of rumors circulating about our club over the past few days. No more lies. So I think it's time that we finally set the record straight and let you all know the truth. Ryan Naismith is going nowhere. Yes! Vila! 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 Of course. Hey, that's who they want running this place. You're talking to yourself, Sunshine. Not me or anybody else. It's the first sign of madness. I'm a fan too. And it pains me to see this club suffer as much as any of you. So if my dream comes true and I own this club, I guarantee you that this woman will run it for me as chief executive. Yeah! Don't stand too close, matey. I'm offering you my services. <laughs> I'm serious. Webster's just made a big mistake. I'm just hoping that Pilar feels it would be right for her. Well, yes, I'll be very happy to stay on, whoever the new owners of the club are. And we all know what that means, don't we? Davenport and Naismith. In the Champions League. Indeed, that has always been the aim, and nothing is going to stop it. Yeah! Pilar's changed her mind. I've got to do something. You are the manager! Not anymore. It's been like this since she came here. I'm playing second fiddle to Luke Davenport. How can I manage this club when a player has more authority than I do? She doesn't know what she's doing. Ryan, I've resigned. It's all over. Squad. It's time, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. I'm so sorry, son. I've 
so sorry. Coming soon on Dream Team. Finally, after months of uncertainty, the suitors to the throne of Harchest United are to meet in court today. Let's go and win us the football club, eh? Work faster. You want that chief executive's job, you take Webster out the game, OK? Losing your sight is not the end of the world. We'll not be able to play. You're asking me questions I simply can't answer. They've made a bid for Luke Davenport. £40 million. Pounds. <laughs> 